Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. This is the shocking moment a child was filmed making disgusting racist remarks while skipping hand-in-hand -hand with her mother to an anti-immigration protest. There has been mass disruption across England and Northern Ireland following a knife attack at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class in Southport last Tuesday. Tensions boiled over after misinformation about the identity of who was responsible was spread online with anti-immigration protesters taking to the streets. A bystander in Belfast yesterday filmed a mother and her daughter who were on their way to a demonstration. In the video, the young girl grins and repeatedly shouts, P asterisk 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 s out. Some of the fellow protesters in the group greet the foul remarks with cheers. The woman filming, who seems to be a counter-protester, confronts the mother and child, saying, It's really embarrassing, you're teaching your child racism, teaching your children racism. But the mother seems completely unfazed and continues walking down the road. Then a man sporting a ranger's top appears to try and reason with the woman filming. But she continues to shout at the mother, who is accompanied by another woman pushing a pram with a child in it. The woman filming shouts, teaching your children racism, good for you, bringing your baby to a protest, disgusting. The woman then finds herself surrounded by a series of male protesters who attempt to argue their point. One bald man in a gray t-shirt says, do you want them cut up by swords? The infuriated woman then bellows back, do you think that's what people are doing? Do you really think that? It's so sad that you actually think people are doing that. The man then insists, of course they are. Watch the news. After being shared online yesterday, the video has since received over 26,000 likes and more than 745 comments from social media users. One user said, snitching on racists and fascists is morally commendable and a civic duty. Another wrote, hats off to the lady calling them out on spot. Social services should take notice. A third replied, Racism is passed down generation after generation. It'll never end. Another commented, When I worked in childcare, you could report parents for this under prevent. I hope this child's school does. Despicable. A fifth added, I agree. Children aren't born racist. They are taught it. Any protest, or riot it seems it's become, is no place for a child. Stores in Belfast were shamelessly set on fire and destroyed over the weekend, with photos from outside one cafe showing yobs smashing their benches on the ground. In South Belfast, a cafe and a supermarket were left badly damaged after being set on fire. A number of burnt-out cars were seen on the road as officers tried to deal with the disorder in the Donegal Road area. Supermarket manager Bashir's business was extensively damaged by fire, telling reports the Islamic community in the city was being target. He said, people attacked this place, racism against Islam and Muslims, especially the Muslim community. All of that happened and the police did nothing, I am telling you the truth. What kind of police are letting the people burn everything down? Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer has pledged his full support for police to take action against extremists attempting to sow hate by intimidating communities as he held emergency talks with ministers over the unrest in parts of England. And Home Secretary Yvette Cooper said people involved in the clashes will pay the price and that criminal violence and disorder has no place on Britain's streets. But forces across the country have reported injuries among their ranks, with sick yobs pictured chucking bricks and beating officers as they try to defend the nation's streets.